but yes, I was at the Critics' Choice um, Awards uh, last weekend or whatnot. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. I guess I could tell y'all a couple couple mini stories, nothing too crazy, you know, just, just a couple stories of what happened. Because, you know, what you saw, I, I did post a video or at least a little short or whatnot. And I posted some of the pictures on Facebook. Um, but of course, that doesn't always tell the whole story. Um, so I can tell y'all what, what y'all saw. And I can talk about what y'all didn't see. So um, let's see. We can go right here. So y'all might remember him. Um, Tyler James Williams from Abbott Elementary. Um, very, very cool brother. Uh, first time I got to meet him. So we immediately hit it off. Just started chit-chatting, talking about the industry um, and all that. And I thought it was um, uh, it was very funny how quickly uh, we were able to vibe with each other, you know, like <laughs> we already did the whole black man get to know, you know, like compliment thing. Like he looking at me like, hey, brother, I see how sharp you are with the little glimmer in the all black. And I was like, look, brother, I see you with the overcoat and everything. I might have to take that look. Like he was like, nah, man, you look good. And I said, no, you look good. Like it was just like that. That's why we laughing in the picture because it was just. It was just automatic, you know, uh, but extremely, extremely cool, brother. Definitely worth it. And, uh, you know, just one of those things where, like, you know, just talking to him. Obviously, we've all seen him grow up over the years and everybody hates Chris. And I was just telling him, like, bro, like, mad proud of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing the thing. And and I did mention, you know, I was like, yo, when you going to drop that album? Because if y'all have if y'all have heard, my man got some bars. He got some bars, you know. I ain't going to say what he said, but I did put that out there. I'm like, look, the streets is calling, okay? You need to put them bars out there and let people know what it is, you know. But anyway, uh, let's see. What else we got here? Um, we uh, Anthony Ramos uh, from um, – uh, he was in Transformers, Rise of the Beast, uh, and he was also in Hamilton. And that was one of the bigger reasons uh, why I wanted to take a picture was because my daughter is a huge Hamilton fan. Like she watches Hamilton on repeat like every other day. So that was something that I definitely wanted to take for her mainly. I mean, he's cool. Don't get me, he's cool people. I'm just saying, you know, the daughter, you know, the daughter had to say, you know, I was like, yo, man, you know, just just want to do something for the little girl. You know, so she she was happy about that. Uh, who else we got? Oh, then of course we got the little the little mini queen, you know, Quinta Brunson. Again, super cool. And I just loved how how aware she was of our place in the industry. You know, we had a real conversation um about both sides of the coin, you know, being the talent, being the press, and what it means when you're black. Um, because while some people don't really think that it's a factor, it kind of is. Um, that's a conversation for another day. Um, but I just really appreciated how aware she really was about certain things. Um, incredibly bright young woman. Um, and, and so so happy about uh her success and yes yeah, she absolutely was killing it with this dress and i was like i can't let that go to waste we got to take a picture we got to for the peoples right for the people um who else oh okay so yeah yeah so after this man listen i'm sitting there looking across the aisle i'm like is that jack bauer jack bauer just gonna sit there right there? like what bro didn't you just save the world in 24 hours i said no nah, man i got to go talk to my man jack bauer keith sutherland are you kidding me yes man i listen I, a lot of times I just want to go. I don't want to be annoying. Um, I just want to talk to the folks that, you know what I'm saying? Like that I've watched, I've admired their work for so long, you know, and I just went up to him. I said, thank you for your service, sir. Thank you for saving us every day and never eating no food or going to the bathroom that whole 24 hours. I appreciate your work. Okay. Your dedication to this country matters. Funny guy. Great. His wife was there as well. Hilarious. Great couple. Um, so it was really, really cool talking to him. Um, now, what you won't see here, what you won't see here is um, I got to talk to Tracy Ellis Ross, um, you know, uh, blackish girlfriends. Um, extremely, extremely nice. Uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful outfit if you've seen her, too, um, during the awards night. Now, I don't have a picture with her, mainly because as I was talking to her, one of the things, and I, you know, I try to tell, I try to tell other people this too. You know what I'm saying? Like, because when I first started, and I, I have not, hold on, time out, let's back up. I have not shown y'all. I don't think I have. I don't think I've shown y'all or told y'all the stories of my very first award night, and I think it's because I was too embarrassed. But this was the best night I've ever had. I mean, everybody was there. Um, did I ever tell y'all what happened when I met Halle Berry? Did I? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Listen, that's another day, another time. I'll tell y'all about that. But I learned a lot 
from those experiences and those embarrassments. Um, so, um, uh, um, um, one thing that I learned while talking to Tracy was that, you know, I'm reading body language, you know, and again, this is not an indictment against her or anything like that, but I could kind of tell that maybe she wasn't really in the mood, you know? And like, so, you know, while I'm talking, some foreign dude just like came up and just, you know, was like, Oh, can I take a picture? Oh, you know? And she was just like, mm, yeah, as long as I don't have to stand up. And she took the picture and she was cool about it. But after that, I was kind of like, mm, yeah, I don't think I don't think this is the right moment. You know what I'm saying? To like go asking her for a picture and all that, because you you got to be you have to remember there's still people. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's not always what they come for. I always ask first. I always say, like, look, do you mind if you don't? That You know, that's cool. If you do, I understand. So, you know, I just kind of read the body language and like, you know, what? I ain't going to bother her. Even though I'm a huge fan, love her work for days. I'm not going to bother. So I did not get a picture with her. Um, who else was? There? Oh, uh, Rebecca Romaine was there as well. I didn't get a chance to take a picture with her, but I did get a chance to tell her, ma'am, I love you because you're the only mystique I shall acknowledge. OK, if y'all remember, she was the original mystique before Jennifer Lawrence got into the role. That's the only one I shall acknowledge is Rebecca Romaine. OK, so at least I got a chance to let her know, you know, how much I appreciated her work um who else was there so Greta Gerwig was there as well uh she is the director of Barbie of course and she is doing the damn thing at this point um and uh it was really cool she's so humble so nice she she kind of had the personality of like I can't believe y'all care <laughs> you know like she's like I don't I didn't even know y'all like you know would even pay attention to me you know and I'm like ma'am you did the thing okay you did the thing stop it um let's see who else do we have uh oh come on I saw this man walk in from from all the way in the back and I said, ain't no way I could leave without talking to this legend. Come on now. The legendary Henry Winkler Fonzie, the Fonz. Are you kidding me? I sat there and I said, excuse me, sir. Mr. Legend, I want to just let you know, thank you for the many, many great memories that you gave to me and my grandmother watching you. Like I, I had no business watching Happy Days when I was five years old. But, you know, when you be sick. You know, when you be at home, you're going to watch a couple shows with, with your grandma. You're going to watch that Price is Right. You're going to watch that Wheel of Fortune. And you definitely go. Well, you're probably going to watch some soap operas. But I watched me some Happy Days as well. So it was an absolute pleasure. And, and I had to give that man his flowers right there um, and just let him know. Thank you for all the time. Because you, you, don't, you don't know how long people going to be here. And you got when you see him, you got to let him know. You know, so it was so, so fun. He was so nice. So cool. Um and he was just such a good sport about everything. Who else? Uh, Ali Wong uh, was there. Charles Melton as well. Ali was just fantastic in uh, Beef. So, um, you know, I've been telling y'all Beef is like one of the best shows on Netflix. It is so good, in my opinion. Um, but she was really cool as well. Uh, oh, man. Meatloaf. Mom, Meatloaf. So my man Will, I said, no, nah, sir. I gots to give you your props as well. And you wearing a smooth jacket too with the blue velvet? Man, listen, I was like, nah, I gots to go talk to my man Will Ferrell because ain't no way I'm going to let you just give me all these years of laughter and not say thank you. You know, you sit on a throne of lies. Come on, man. You know, if you're not first, you're last. You know, like, I mean, come on now. What is it? Will Ferrell, bro, you are my childhood. You are my uh, uh, teenagehood. You are my adulthood. Like everything. I, I, I ain't been a decade in my life that I ain't sat down and watched multiple Will Ferrell movies. So I absolutely had to. You're my boy, Blue. So many quad. You're my boy. Where's my mouth? We're going streaking on the quad. <laughs> We're going streaking on the quad. Oh my gosh. Will Ferrell, super nice as well. Um, and by the way, I don't know if y'all know this. My man is tall. He is tall. Look at this man. Keep in mind, I'm 6'2". Okay, I'm 6'2". My man, what, he about like 6'3", 6'4"? That's a tall guy. That's a tall guy. So Will Ferrell was absolutely great. Um, now, here's one thing that you might not know. Um, when you go to these award shows, there's levels to all of this stuff, right? So what I was doing was mainly trying to talk to people, you know, before the show started. You know, this is the mingling hour. This is the time to talk and socialize and all that. But man, whether it's the mingling hour or not, there are some folks you just ain't going to talk to and you're just not going to get around to. It's just not going to happen. Um, a lot of folks had security around them. I'm going to tell you all that story in a second. Uh, a lot of folks had security around them. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, you just you just not going to you just not going to make it, you know, um, but. So what I tried to do is get around it and I just took some pictures of folks instead. 
Um, so I think uh, Poor Things was mentioned earlier. And look who I bumped into, of course, the great Emma Stone was there. Super nice. Um, and, you know, she uh, I believe she did win uh, or later that night for Best Actress. Um, but once again, I was reading body language. You know, I saw other people taking pictures with her and it just kind of it was just getting that vibe. Like, I don't I don't think she wants this. So I just I was just like, look, like Emma, just look up. Bam. I'm gonna just walk away. You know what I'm saying? No effort, no nothing. You ain't got to fake. Just bam. You know, but I was also complimenting her at the same time. You know, I was like, look, great performance. Good luck on the nominations. You know, so it was really cool um, that she was at least all right with that. Uh, by the way, do y'all see this? Y'all see this right here? They gave us a whole adult box of Lunchables. I was like, how are you going to give us a box with some crackers and grapes? What? What What kind of dinner award? Listen, and the reason why I can say this is because Oprah trip on this uh who else i think fantasia you know also tripped on like all of them did that you know so i i didn't say man, that that was them matter of fact i told y'all about the security i'm walking through i'm going to my table i'm minding my own business okay i'm not doing i'm not bothering nobody okay i'm trying to go to my table all the way in the back because i ain't got no front seat i'm going all the way to the back and that's it as i'm walking through uh, and yes, I did get my pizza and I threw that away. It looked like trash. I'm from Chicago. We're not eating anybody's pizza. But as I'm walking through, I look down and I see the color purple table. And I was just like, oh, okay. I see Taraji over there. I see Danielle over there. I see Fantasia over there. Okay. You know, but here's the thing, you know, and I'm not bragging, but like I had already seen them at previous events. So again, I don't like the double dip. I'm not going to sit here and bother you and be like, oh, you can you take another selfie? Listen. If I already took a selfie, that's really just for my personal memories and records. After that, I'm not going to bother you like that. I might say some nice things to you, but that's it, right? So as I'm walking, when I tell you, man, big Brutus looking security guard, just, oh, I was like, whoa, what's going on? What's happening? You know, and I see this dude just like get all big with me. And I was like, bro, like, what's the problem? You know, and like, as I'm looking, I'm looking around like, what the? Like, is it me? Is this somebody behind me or something? Like, why well, can get all why well, can get all big on me? You know, I'm just I'm just trying to get to my seat. Then I look down. And as I look down, I mean, like right here, you know, because I'm standing, everybody else is sitting. I look down, I see this poofy hair. Oh, it's only Oprah Winfrey that's like right here. And I was like, oh, oh, I said, oh, sir, I'm not gonna touch nobody. Okay, I ain't gonna touch nobody. I'm just I'm going that's my seat over there. Here go my ticket. This is my ticket right here. I'm just going over. There. I'm not going to touch nobody. I'm just going to go this way. You see my hands up that way because I'm not going to touch a billion dollars. I'm not I'm not going to do that. You know, so as I'm leaving, I said, I, I, I liked y'all movie and I voted for y'all. Good luck. OK, bye. And I just mind my business and went that way because I didn't know I was standing right in front of a billion dollars. I didn't know. I mean, there was no way to go. Like there was it was tight aisles, you know, so, you know, I would have loved the picture with Oprah. That would have been great. But I, not for that cost. Not, 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 not to get tackled. No, I'm straight. I'm straight on that, man. That's, that's okay. Um, so, uh, that didn't happen. Uh, 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 besides Oprah, who else has security? Uh, Robert De Niro, um, uh, who else? Uh, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Jennifer Aniston. You're not touching, you're not getting around them. That, that, that it just was not going to happen. It, it wasn't going to happen. Um, who did I get around? You know who I did get? Um, uh, and this was on accident. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. And as I come back from the bathroom, um, because the bathrooms are like outside, like in these actually really nice porta potties, but um, Jesse Plemons was there, and he was in Killers of the Flower Moon. You like you you know Jesse if you see him. Like let me let me pull up his uh his like y'all 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 know Jesse. Like you've seen this guy, right? Like you've seen him, right? So he pulled up. You know, and here's the thing. Look, look at look at this man. OK, when I tell you he is so skinny, skinny, he don't look like this. My man is skinny. I was like, whoa. OK. And I told him, I was like, hey, man, I really I'm looking forward to your movie uh, Civil War. We talked about it. We saw the trailer, you know, and I was like, look, I'm looking forward to that movie. And he was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's going to be something. I said, oh, well, all right, then get my excitement up. So I was like, all right, cool, bet. Right before, you know, um, he leaves or whatever, I see this other tall actor just walking, beelining straight to the bathroom. It's only Leonardo DiCaprio. I was like, oh, hell. 
okay, he went to the bathroom. All right, I'll catch him on the way back. So, you know, I'm talking to the dude or whatever, and Leo comes right back out. I was like, oh, hey, good, good, good. Nope, that was it. Nope, nope. Leo ain't got no time for nothing. Leo, Leo is here and there, and that's it. You ain't getting nothing else from Leo. Um, so, yeah, that was it. But uh, I had no idea how tall Leo was. Leo is actually not, like, I've always thought, maybe I just kept thinking of Jack on, on Titanic, you know, and I'm sitting there thinking, like, Leo's about like six what six six feet. I was like, dang, Leo, you tall, lanky guy. I didn't know. You know, the cameras be fooling people. Um, I did see uh Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. She was there. Um, but her security was kind of pressing and you know, all that. But I did I did get a chance to give her a quick shout out um and just be like, hey Brie, you know, loved your stuff, you know, in the previous films and all that. Keep up the good work. Um, so she was very nice. She is very nice. I and I hate the fact that she gets such a bad rep from like trolls online. Um, she is clearly the opposite. Like she is not the way people have portrayed her to be, at least from what I saw. Um, let's see who. Else? Oh, y'all might know this dude. Y'all might know this guy. So, of course, you know, bumped into this guy, you know, again. Um, and this was funny. This was fun. Um, so I bump into Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> y'all remember when I told y'all the first time I met Kevin Feige, right? The first time I met him was uh, at, during Ant-Man, during the premiere. And y'all remember, okay? Y'all remember um, when I met Kevin, I was wearing my uh, my Kang Gang shirt, right? So I go up to Kevin and I was just like, yeah, man, you know, I'm a representative of the Kang Gang. I show him the shirt. And he was like, Kang Gang, you know? And he was just like, I told y'all, Kevin is the nicest nerd I've ever met. OK, he's just he's just like genuinely nice, you know, so we're talking or whatever. Um, and again, these are not the places to have like an interview. This is not the time to go asking the hard questions. You know, you're just here to just chit chat, whatever. And I told him, I was like, yo, I'm looking forward to the direction you guys are going. And this I'm not fronting. I'm not capping because I've told you all this before. I was like, look, I understand that you guys have had some bumps in the road. But I do appreciate the fact that you guys are changing course and you're doing different things, you know, like like uh, making things more TV related, uh, using a different formula and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm not lying. I am. Right. And it was real funny because, um, <laughs> you know, I had also said I said, like, man, you know, when I was talking about the challenges and stuff, I was like. Man, you know, it really sucks, like, what happened, because, you know, I was all in with Kang Gang. What does Kevin say? Kang Gang? Kang Gang? <laughs> you know, so it was just funny that, you know, because, listen, he don't remember me from Ant-Man, and that's okay. You know, Kevin me probably a thousand people a day, you know, but I just thought it was funny that just saying Kang Gang got this guy excited, like, more than once, you know. Um, and uh, you know what? I, I, I won't say what he said, because I, I don't want nobody to go try and quote me or nothing like that. But I will give my interpretation of what I think he might have felt um, because, you know, we didn't talk about Jonathan Majors, but it was obviously alluded once I talk about, you know, uh, uh, Kang Gang and all that. I really got the impression that he was really disappointed in the situation, you know, um, that like it just because and, and I mean, that would make sense because Marvel invested a lot. And Jonathan Majors, you know, again, I'm not quoting nothing from him. I'm just making up my own interpretation. Don't nobody go running with this. But I did get the genuine sense that, you know, he was like, dang, man, like, if only, you know, so I, I, I would, I would challenge any body's perception that Marvel just tried to screw the black man and they didn't like, like, I don't think that that was the case. I think that he genuinely was hoping for the best and things just didn't turn out the way that they probably hoped, you know? And I mean, yeah, like we all were disappointed, right? Like I'm still disappointed in the verdict. I'm disappointed in the situation. So, you know, I think he shares that too. Um, but again, that's just my interpretation. Um, who else was there? We saw, let's see, let's see. So it was fun seeing him again. Uh, oh yeah. Had my boy Loki out there, you know? Now this is a tall guy. He had to bend down. Okay. He had to bend down. Tom got to be like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, Tom is tall. Okay, that man is tall. Um, but I did want to... Uh, I, I met him and his wife, uh, uh, Zowie, I think. Zowie. Um, um, super nice as well. She's she's uh, wonderful to speak to. Um, but yeah, man, I, just, I had to tell my man Tom. I'm like, bro, you and Loki, you out here doing the work. Okay, you doing the work. So congratulations on the nominations and all that stuff. 
um very very nice very nice like you want to meet him like that's the guy you want to talk to meet your heroes all that um very very cool there uh let's see who else we got man i'm just walking by and i'm like billy is that you billy and she was just like yes i said billy eilish my daughter loves you like she got your posters she be listening to your music and all that billy you mind taking a quick picture for me and you know so i can send it to my daughter super cool very nice took like two three pictures with me man billy eilish she is all right with me very very fun very cool uh who else did we have uh pfft, killian murphy mr oppenheimer himself you know um he also was kind of hard to get to um but i i was just backstage i'm getting a drink or something and then all of a sudden my man just you see how he walking with his hands in his pockets and stuff just walking around i say yo killian what's going on man he said hello i I, can't, I don't know how to do the the irish accent but you know he had this irish accent and super nice chit chatting you know i was like man you trying to get a drink or something he said no nah, man we ain't gonna do that not this time i said okay i understand you know um but no we chit chatted for a little bit obviously he was up for uh best actor with uh oppenheimer congratulated him um he was very nice he posed with not just me but like with other people um and all that so he was really cool um you know still my pick if they ever wanted to do a doctor uh doctor doom still my pick there uh, but killian definitely definitely was that guy of course i bumped into the hulk I was so mad because, again, this is not the time to bring up all your issues and stuff because this is my first time meeting him, you know. But I am I am mad that I did not think to be like, can you get a little matter as the Hulk, please, for the people? Like, can, can you please give us a little bit more Hulk and a lot less banner? OK, that's what I should have said. This is the problem when you meet folks that you did not know were going to be there and. You know, I mean, of course, I, I'm sitting, I'm telling him like, yo, enjoy your performances here and there and all these different films and all that. But I'm just kicking myself the next day like, dang it, I should have told him the Hulk sucks. Ah, but I didn't. Uh, but anyway, uh, so Mark was very cool. Very nice. Uh, who else did I see there? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Kieran uh, Culkin, uh, if you've watched Succession um, on HBO, uh, I think he won Best actor best supporting actor in a tv series uh he did win for that um but he was very nice um i felt a little bad for him because you know again i'm always trying to keep my head on a swivel i'm trying to read body language and this man literally was like looking for his wife and stuff and you know um you know he did stop to talk to folks and you know i saw my opening took a picture but i just felt bad because it was like after that he was telling people like, yo, I got to go like now. And people were just like, no, no, no. Can I get a picture? Can I was like, oh, come on now. Y'all not. Y'all got to stop. Like, you can't be that. Third. Like, like, it's OK. It's OK. Let it go. Like, if they have to go, there's still people. Let it go, you know. But he was still cool. He still stayed with as many people as he could before he had to leave. Um, Very nice guy. Uh, I did not get to talk to or meet them both. Uh, Pedro was there. Uh, Tom Holland was there. Um, I, I, I didn't, I, but you know, I did, uh, manage to get, um, you know, snap of them while they were posing for somebody else's picture. So that was cool. Um, and then I met cousin. Come on now. I was like, yo cousin, what is up? He just, I think he just got done winning for best supporting actor in the bear. If y'all not watching the bear, shame on y'all go watch the bear. Um, but that's old cousin. I was like, Hey man, proud of you, man. Cause you coming up. You was doing your thing, bro. You doing your thing. Absolutely cool. Very nice. Super humble. Um, and definitely, definitely, definitely a cool guy um, for sure. Um, but yeah, that that was definitely, um, you know, a pretty solid night. Uh, and then there was like, you know, this random dude that showed up, you know, some film critic. He was just there or whatever. So um, that was cool. That was cool. Um, but yeah, so that was the night. That was fun. It was definitely a blast for sure. Um, trying to think if there was anything else i might have missed that was i mean there was a couple misses there was a couple misses i know john krasinski was there couldn't get to him uh emily blunt harrison ford all of those man them a-list folks you ain't talking to them <laughs> you ain't talking to them so i couldn't get to them um but uh but yeah no nah, it was definitely uh it was definitely a good time um you know and by the way shout out to the missus okay shout, shout out to the missus because the missus put this together okay with the little you you're not gonna see it here but when you when you get up close you know you see you see the shiny she she had the shiny up there. Hold on, wait, wait, because I do want to to give her her little thing. She got the vest with the tie, you know. So shout shout out to the missus, okay, for dressing your boy up that night. Um, and I definitely wanted to give her her props for sure. 
Um, so anyway, that was my awards night. Um, and I do thank all of y'all because, like I said, um, you know, a lot of that stuff is made possible because you know, of you guys, you know, a lot of your contribution support. Um, and it's not just, and let me be very clear about this. It's not just a matter of, oh, I just want to go take pictures with celebrities. And, you know, it, it, that's not it. Like, I actually go out there for business. Like, I go out there to network. I go out there to try and um, get opportunities. I go there to try and, you know, talk to different studios, try to get y'all interviews and stuff like that. So, you know, I do the pictures and stuff, you know, just for fun. But it is business first. Um, but I do want to thank y'all because um, it's because of y'all support. You know, if it wasn't for like, ain't nobody flying me out. Ain't nobody paying for my hotel. Like, I have to listen. I stay in my little tail in a little, you know, two star hotel. Okay, down the street. I ain't no, I'm not staying in no five star. Nothing. No, no. Okay, this close from Spirit Airlines. That close. I would never. But I was that close. Okay. Um, but nah. So I do want to say thank y'all so so much. Um, for just allowing me to have the opportunity to do these things and to share them with y'all, you know, to have these experiences with y'all uh, really, really means a lot as well. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.